chapter 16, assignment 2b, using the equation POH equals the negative log of hydroxide. All right, so I have two examples for you, and there are two ways to use this equation. One, if you're given the hydroxide concentration and asked to find the POH, and the other is if you're given the POH and asked to find the hydroxide concentration. You're going to find these calculations to be very similar to assignment 2a, the video prior to this one. All right, so let's go ahead and do the first example. If you're given hydroxide and asked to find the POH, and I threw a little curveball in here for you, I'm giving you calcium hydroxide, and I'll tell you it's aqueous, equals 1 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. This is a little bit tricky because we need the hydroxide concentration. Now, calcium is a base, calcium hydroxide is a base, so it is going to produce for us predominantly hydroxide ions as opposed to hydronium. So, you would want to say that it is 1 times 10 to the negative 3 molar, but because in this formula we have 2 moles worth of hydroxide ions, it means we're going to produce twice as much hydroxide whenever it dissociates. Therefore, our actual hydroxide ion concentration is going to be 2 times 10 to the negative 3 molar. Okay, now that we've uh, taken care of that blast from the past, we're going to use our equation, and it's going to be POH equals the negative log of the hydroxide ion concentration. And this one's pretty simple because all you have to do is plug in your hydroxide concentration, which is this one right here. So POH equals the negative log of 2 times 10 to the negative 3. And now we're going to plug it in our calculator, and you want to literally hit negative, then hit log, then 2, and you need to hit second E, or shift EE, -E, or just hit your EE -E button, depending on your calculator, negative 3. Okay, negative log 2E negative 3. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Negative log 2E negative 3 equals... And you're going to get a pOH of, and you want to round it off to one sig fig, since this number is only one sig fig. So it's basically going to be three. Now, while you want to think that this pOH is three, so that must make it acidic because an acid is an acid between one and seven, but that's the pH scale. This is pOH. So you can't use this number to decide if it's an acid or base. You have to convert it to pH, which we'll show you in the next segment, or I will show you in the next segment. Okay, so the other one, which is a little smidgen more complicated, but not much, if you're given the pOH and asked to find the hydroxide concentration. So my example for you here is if the pOH is 9.2. Alright, so once again, our equation is pOH equals negative log of hydroxide. But we want to rearrange this equation so that it is set to solve for the hydroxide concentration. So to do that, we're going to move our negative to the other side by multiplying everything by negative 1. So that's going to give us negative pOH equals log of hydroxide. And then we need to move the log to the other side, and the opposite of log is anti-log. So we'll multiply both sides by anti-log. which cancels log on the right side. So we end up with the anti-log of the negative pOH is going to give you the hydroxide ion concentration. Now that we've rearranged our equation, we'll go ahead and plug in our pOH that was given. Anti-log of negative 9.2 is going to equal the hydroxide ion concentration. This is how you will enter it in your calculator. Second log negative 9.2. Okay, so once you plug it into your calculator, let's go ahead and do that now. Second log negative 9.2. And you're going to end up with hopefully a number in scientific notation. If not, go ahead and change it to scientific notation. Notice we have two numbers that we use for our pOH, so we want to have round off to two sig figs in our final answer. So it's going to be 6.3 times 10 to the negative 10 molar. 
and that's our hydroxide ion concentration. Okay, remember that you can actually replace 6.3 E negative 10 into the original equation and solve it for the pOH to verify that you got the right answer. You can do the same thing for the first one, you can plug in the, you can take the analog of 3 in order to test to see if you got the correct answer by checking to get the original answer once again.